Good evening. This is our Western Edition. We're going to begin tonight with breaking news. An unmanned rocket bound for the International Space Station blew up on liftoff this evening in Wallops Island, Virginia. The rocket was built by Orbital Sciences, one of two private companies under contract to supply the space station. Bill Harwood, our CBS News space consultant, is joining us now by phone. Bill? Scott, it's too early to say what might have gone wrong, but this explosion happened about 15 seconds after liftoff when two Russian-built engines at the base of the first stage of the rocket were still firing. Uh, too early to say if the engines were at fault, but they had a test failure of one of these engines back in May, so that's certainly something they'll be looking at. Lost in this rocket mishap, 5,000 pounds of cargo and equipment bound for the space station. And Bill, are the astronauts on the space station disadvantaged in any way by the fact that this cargo will not be reaching them? Scott, they've lost clothing, they've lost food, a lot of research equipment, but nothing that's critical to the operation of the station. There's a Russian supply ship launching tomorrow from Kazakhstan. There's another SpaceX cargo ship going up in December. So the crew's in pretty good shape, but NASA needs to get this problem fixed as soon as they can to resume that steady flow of supplies to the station. Bill Harwood, our CBS News space consultant. Bill, thank you, and want to emphasize that the rocket was unmanned, and at this hour we have no word of any injuries that might have occurred on the ground.